Android 14 Beta 1 just got released and here's everything we know about this update. The first big change is that there's a new toggle within the developer options that can force the navigation bar to have a transparent background color no matter what app or screen you're in. It's extremely useful because some apps, usually older ones, have an opaque background not letting you see anything behind it. And if you're using the three button navigation on a small phone, you'll need to do a bit of extra scrolling to see the hidden information. So now making that background completely transparent lets you see those extra few words or picture without needing to scroll any further. The only problem is that as of now, it doesn't seem to work that well. It'll just make some apps have the nav bar color follow the app's theme. That way it's a bit more camouflaged, but not actually making it transparent. Still, it's a good idea if they can make it work well in a future release. Also, there are some new Android 14 inspired walls that my team created that fit really well with this new update. And we even got some sweet looking material U widgets that go well with this update too. You should definitely check them out on our Patreon link down below. There have also been some rumors that Android 14 could make the lock screen a lot more customizable, including letting you change the look of the clock. Technology Info did a fantastic job of making a concept of these customizable clocks, which would be an awesome look. But it doesn't seem like these options are live yet. However, there are a few minor lock screen additions in Beta 1. The first is that you may be able to disable the weather within the lock screen. There's a new toggle within the lock screen settings called Show Weather to let you do this, but as of right now, the toggle doesn't work, and the only way to get it to work is to manually enable a system property within the code. Michal, an Android expert, has confirmed that it works when this property is enabled, so there you go. And for those who use a pin as their lock screen method, you may be happy to hear that there are some minor new changes that are pretty sweet, like there are going to be some new animations when dialing in the numbers, um, they appear as little different shapes, which is pretty satisfying, and don't show you the number when you type them in to keep peeping eyes away. You just need to enable a new option within the screen lock settings called Enhanced Pin Privacy. And this was already discovered before, but for those who aren't aware, apparently Android 14 may let you auto-confirm a correct pin. That way, you don't need to keep on hitting that enter button each time you enter the correct pin. Saves you an extra step. Something a bit more exciting is that, just like a regular photo, you'll be able to set a different live wallpaper for your lock screen and home screen. So I can essentially have this beautiful live wallpaper of a green landscape with the lock screen, and then this other live wallpaper of the mountains within the home screen. The only annoyance is that there is no way to enable it within the software. You need to enable it within the code, which Michelle has done. When taking a screenshot and hitting the edit button, the pen icons now show you the colors so that you don't need to keep opening their menu to check what it is. Oh, and the nearby share button within the share sheet is back. It was removed in a previous Android 14 build, there are also some rumors that Google could update the share menu, but as of right now, it looks the same. On the home screen, when you long press an icon, the pause and app info icons have been flipped within the pop-up menu. Within the developer options, there also seems to be a new Bluetooth LE audio toggle, which should let you choose the remote devices that are allowed to connect via the LE audio profiles. And apparently there are some new under the hood changes. Like there are new configuration files for external touchpads like the Apple Magic Trackpad, Logitech Wireless Touchpad, and a lot more, basically making it easier to use these devices on your Android. There's also an important new security feature that authenticator apps can use to stop malware from stealing your two-factor authentication codes. Before, apps could just use the accessibility API to read the contents on your screen and perform inputs on your behalf. And certain malware like Cerberus, Banking Trojan, and Nexus malware were caught snooping on Google Authenticator with this tactic. Now, Android 14 is restricting what kinds of accessibility services an app can interact with. And if you use the Pixel 7 or 7 Pro to update to Android 14, the modem will be upgraded, which also supports release 16, basically improving phone calls and cellular network connectivity. It's what we've all been waiting for. That's basically it for this Android 14 Beta 1 update. As you can tell, it's kind of a letdown. I was hoping for something bigger and exciting since we're now stepping into the beta releases, but so far it's just a few minor features and changes. They should really just call this update Android 14 Developer Preview 3. But I'm still hopeful because there are about four more beta updates that are being released every month until August. So there is still a good amount of time to receive some more exciting new features. 
If you want to get this update, just keep in mind that there are a good amount of known issues and bugs, so I wouldn't recommend updating to it just yet, especially since it's not that exciting of an update. Um, you'll get more headaches than astonishments. Still, if you want to try it out, you'll need a Google Pixel and a computer. I even made a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to update it, which I'll leave in the cards. In that video, I went over all the newest features that have been released thus far from Developer Preview 1 and 2, including an easier way to remove bloatware, updated permissions, flash notifications, and a lot more. Plus, you can also learn about every possible upcoming feature based on rumors and leaks from the Android community. I'll also leave a link to a Twitter thread from Mashal, who does a great job of diving deep into Android 14. You should definitely check it out. Um, I got most of these from him out, actually. I'll also tag all the pixels that can be upgraded to Android 14 within the YouTube product tag feature so that you can pick one up for yourself, sponsored by YouTube. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!